get ready for the practice of meditation. So settling down, getting ready for the practice of until morn. You can sit quietly in a cross leg posture, on a chair. You can take a cushion underneath if you have any discomfort. Let the body get ready for the practice of meditation. Be aware of the sitting posture, comfortably placed. No discomfort, no uneasiness. Let the body become still. At different points, your body touches the floor. Be aware of those points. All the different points where your body touches the floor. The spine is rising straight up from the floor, perpendicular to the floor. Spine, neck, head in a straight line. Your head is resting over the spinal cord. Your legs, your torso, your arms, your head perfectly aligned with the spinal cord. Awareness of this inner alignment. The growing stillness. Check your body, the internal body in a mirror. The body from the front body from the right side body from the left side body from behind body from the top body from all the sides now look at the body from the front your external body and if you see the reflection of the body in a full length mirror, your body from the front, your face, your arms, your torso, your legs, your body centered, it's not moving to any side, neither to left nor to right, your body from the front, body from the right side, Body from the left side, body from behind, body from the top, body from all the sides. The stillness grows, you are aware of this stillness. I know I am still, I know I am still. Your legs are the root of the tree rooted to the ground. So imagining the body, the shape of a big mammoth tree. Legs are the root of the tree rooted to the ground. The trunk is the stem of the tree. Your arms and head are the branches of the tree. Your eyes, nose, lips, the cheeks, ears are the fruits of the tree body in the shape of a big giant mammoth tree firmly rooted to the ground the growing stillness still like a statue even if you try cannot move the body now that is the determination even if an urge to move the body during the practice let's not move the body today You're growing stillness, you're aware of this physical body, you're aware of the motionlessness of the body, you're aware of the breath and the growing stillness, you're aware of the body. Now be aware of all the different sensations you experience in the body the physical sensations you experience in the body. 
different forms it is present in the body. You may have a sign of itching, rubbing, scratching the body parts. Be a witness of that experience. Be an observer of that particular experience without moving the body part. Just be a witness. You may have a feeling of heaviness or lightness somewhere in the body. Maybe a feeling of heat or cold. A feeling of pain, discomfort, uneasiness, or a tingling sensation or any other physical experience you notice, you experience at this moment. Right from head down to the toes, being vigilant, being alert, being aware, being a witness, being an observer of all these experiences. Head to the toes, toes to the head. None of these experiences bothers your mental state, disturbs your mental calmness. You are a silent witness of all these sensations. You are observer of all the different experiences. You are witness of all the different experiences. You are experiencer of all the different experiences. Head to the toes. Take your awareness to the head head and the face, any sensation there in the head and the face, the localized sensation, right arm, any sensation, the left arm, any sensation, any, every sensation there in the arms, the chest, the abdomen, the entire torso, any sensation, the right leg, the left leg, any, every sensation there in the legs. Be more aware. Sensations there in the legs. The buttocks, buttocks and the back, any sensation. Head to the toes, toes to the head, any, every sensation you experience at this moment. And being aware of sensorial experiences, the subject and the object, your ears and the different sounds you experience, you hear at this moment. All the different sounds, one to the next, next to the next. Just be aware of every single sound you hear at this moment. The point of origination of that sound and when it travels from that particular point to your ear, that sound wave, that entire process you be aware. One sound, the next sound, the origination of the sound, that particular point when it travels to your ear, a particular frequency, particular wave, be aware and catching the next sound, the same process. Now be aware of your eyes and different forms in front of your closed eyes. Eyes and different forms in front of your closed eyes. Nostrils and a smell. Nostrils and a smell. Tongue and experience of taste. Tongue and experience of taste. Skin and experience of touch. You are wearing clothes that is in contact with the skin, the outer layer of the skin, that experience. And there are some parts of the body in open in contact with the open air, that experience too. Skin and experience of touch. Be aware now of the thinking process, thought process. It is a continuous process. It goes on, on and on. 
Now be aware of this thoughts which are there coming going and it comes and goes freely a simple task here to be a witness of all those thoughts simple task is to be an observer of all those thoughts which are there present coming going being a drasta no interference do not identify with any thought no discrimination at all you are not creating any thought you are not bringing any thought on your own this is the ongoing continuous process you simply become a witness it comes stays leaves the space next thought takes over you just remain a drasta happy thought unhappy thought good thought bad thought pleasant thought unpleasant thought positive or negative let them all come and go freely you remain a witness watch it like a movie screen it comes and goes freely on your mental screen on your mental space just remain a witness a drasta an observer initially when you begin to watch thought sometime the pace of thought coming going is very quick it rushes from one to the next maybe it may slow down in the middle of the practice and there are moments that there's no thought even episode of silence and the emptiness in between just remain aware or coming going at a quick brisk pace it slows down your aware and if there are emptiness thoughtlessness you are aware of that state too sometime especially the initial stages when you start to be a witness of the thoughts it may stop coming in that case you need to have patience wait for a while and you would notice that it starts flowing sometimes you have a very fresh thought a recent thoughts day to day events experiences then you may have few weeks back thought months back thought to even years back thought coming to the surface of the consciousness whether they are fresh one or the past buried ones allow them to come and go freely remaining a witness all these are the expressions of your own subconscious and unconscious mind let them all come and go freely without stopping any experience without suppressing any thought these are all expressions of your own mind it's not coming from anywhere else You remain a witness at the rest of none of these experiences whether it's a positive or negative happy or unhappy disturbs your mental state you just remain a third party to it just remain a mere spectator like a movie screen it comes and goes and watch every single scene every single experience every single thought as a spectator being a third party to it. do not be the part of any thought or event or experience moment you get involved in any thought 
any experience, immediately withdraw yourself, saying that I am a witness, I am a drasta, I am an observer. Some of them are real in nature, some of them could be fixatious too. Some of them related to the past experiences, past memories, past events. Some of them related to future imaginations, projections and expectations of the life. And then some of them are related to your present environment, present conditions. Remain a witness, a drasta. No screening. Do not suppress any thought. If you suppress any thought, it comes back with a stronger force. So that's not a wise way to handling the thoughts. The wise way is to be a witness. A drasta with a regular, constant practice of being a witness the time comes that all the impressions becomes lighter, gets diffused, gets dissolved and you start feeling lighter from within. You attain to a state of silence, the inner silence. That is the meaning of the practice of the technique of Anthermon meditation. Carry on with the practice. Some of them are random thoughts, one thought of a one nature, next thought of an altogether different nature, no connection from one to the next, random thoughts. Some of them are connected to each other, a series, a chain of thoughts leading from one to the next to the next, a chain of thoughts. So random ones or a series of thoughts, you are a witness, you be aware. And if there are emptiness or silence in between, you are aware of that state too. Like a movie screen, thought comes and goes freely. You remain a drasta. None of these experiences, whether they're happy ones or the bad ones, pleasant ones or the unpleasant ones, positive ones or the negative ones, disturbs your mental state, mental calmness. Any uneasiness, any restlessness, any anxiety, be aware of that state too. Any emotional expression, be aware of that state too. No more spontaneous thoughts now. No more spontaneous thoughts. Now you create a thought on your own. You create a thought, construct a thought, frame a thought, watch it, watch it, contemplate about that particular thought and experience. Stay with it for a while and then dispose it off. Let it go out of the mind and out of the psyche. Another thought, create it, construct it, frame it, bring it to the mental space, watch it, stay with it, contemplate about that experience some related incidents and dispose it off completely out of the mind, out of the sight. Another thought, create it, frame it, bring it to the mental space, watch it, stay with it, 
contemplate about that, maintaining the particular thought and experience and dispose it off completely, out of the mind, out of the psyche. Another thought, observe it, watch it, stay with it, but no spontaneous thoughts. Do not allow any spontaneous thought to come now. Dispose it off completely out of the mind, out of the psyche. Now, a thought which bothers you sometime, a negative thought, a bad thought, an unpleasant thought, bring it, watch it, stay with it, all the related events, experiences, incidents, stay with it, maintain it for a while and immediately dispose it off. Let it go completely. Another one. Again, a negative thought, a thought which bothers you sometime, observe it, watch it, contemplate, maintain it for a while, stay with it, all the related events, experiences, and dispose it off completely out of the mind, out of the psyche. Go ahead, another one, a negative one, watch it. Maintain that particular experience, thought, related incidents. Stay it, stay with it for a while and dispose it off completely out of the mind, out of the sight. No spontaneous thoughts. Now a happy thought, a pleasant thought. A pleasant thought, a happy thought. Watch it. Stay with it for a while, all the related events, experiences and dispose it off too, out of the mind, out of the sight in a jog. Another one, again a happy one, a good one. Construct it, watch it, watch it at your mental space, mental plane. Stay with it for a while and Dispose it off completely out of the mind, out of the psyche. Another one, a happy incident, happy thought, construct it, create it, frame it, watch it in front of your closed eyes, on your mental space, stay with it, all the related events, experiences, and then push it away from the mind, push it away from the psyche. Now, stop all these thoughts now. No more thoughts, whether it is a spontaneous one or willful one, no more thoughts. A state of silence, a thoughtless state, a thought-free state, Staying in this moment where there is no thought. You do not allow any thought to come now, whether it is a spontaneous one or you nor you create any thought. A state of emptiness, a state of thoughtlessness, a state of silence. Maintaining this state of silence, you are aware of the physical stillness, you are aware of the silence and the mental steadiness. Being in this moment of silence, any thought emerges on your mental space, watch it and immediately dispose it off. Aware of the silent state, any spontaneous thought emerges on your mental plane, watch it and with a jerk immediately dispose it off and then maintain this state of silence. The state of silence, thought might emerge from left side, from the right side of your mental space, watch it, 
and dissolve it then and there in the mental space only. You are aware of the silence, the inner silence, the growing inner silence. If any spontaneous thought arise there on your mental space, watch it and dissolve it there only and staying, carry on with the silent faith or the silent state. The silence growing deeper, the state of silence growing deeper. The silence within grows deeper. You are aware of this steady body, silent state and the mental steadiness also. You are aware of the physical steadiness. You are aware of the mental space and the silence and the mental calmness and mental steadiness. Bring awareness to the point between the eyebrows, middle of the eyebrow center. So there the eyebrow center, bright tiny flame, a golden flame. Visualize this golden tiny flame from within. It's a bright flame, it's a burning steadily, it's a glowing flame power of imagination, this glowing flame is burning steadily, it spreads the light on your chitakash, on your mental space, and from there it spreads within and it envelops your entire body. The light at the eyebrow center, a glowing light, a glowing flame, spreads the light on your Tidakash and then it envelops your entire body. It pervades the entire body. That flame is your inner self and this light which emanates and pervades the entire body is your awareness. You are a living awareness that experience of living awareness is growing. The light of the eyebrow center is the inner self, the spirit and the light which it emanates and envelops the entire body is your awareness. 
and it spreads within and you can have a glowing lightness experience of that golden light inside concentrating on that bright flame at the eyebrow center we are going to chant three om all together and then shanti mantras inhale deeply Satoma Sadgamaya Tamasoma Jyotirgamaya Mirtyorma Amritam Gamaya Sarvesham Swastir Bhavatu Sarvesham Shantir Bhavatu Sarvesham Purnam Bhavatu Sarvesham Mangalam Bhavatu Loka Samasta Sukhino Bhavantu Om Trayambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Pushti Vardhanam Urvar Kimiva Bandhenat Mrityor Mukshira Mamritat Om Shanti 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 Hari Om